something completely different. You might recognize me from the ski tips, but this week we're hosting the show here at beautiful Big White Ski Resort. I'm going to take you for a little bit of a tour, show you some of the sights and sounds, and show you why I live here. A little bit of a backstage pass to Big White. Located just 56 kilometers from Kelowna, BC, Big White is big with 1147 hectares of terrain. An intermediate and advanced skier's paradise, the resort receives an average of 7.5 meters of dry powder annually. Big White ranks high as a family-friendly resort with a great ski school, a renowned kids program, skating, snow tubing, snowmobiling, and much, much more. A base village offers a variety of shops and dining options, and the abundant ski-in, ski-out accommodations fit a broad range of budgets. Well, what an unbelievably awesome day today. It's one of these days that we're famous for here at Big White Ski Resort. You know, you may know us as Canada's favorite family resort, but we're also a bit of a skier's mountain too. Here with my buddies Richie and Christian, and we're going to hit up some of our favorite terrain today. So come on with us for a little bit of a tour. Here we go. Big White is famous for its snow. Getting almost 25 feet annually means a powder day is a regular occurrence. Being located in the southern central part of BC, the resort benefits from unique weather conditions that form a phenomenon at the top of the mountain called Snow Ghosts and blanket the slopes with world famous Okanagan Champagne Powder. You know, something to keep in mind about Big White is it definitely is big. You know, we're the second largest resort in British Columbia. About 7,000 acres is the resort area itself. About 2,500 vertical feet of skiing. And we're on, on our longest run here right now. We call it Round the World. It's 7.2 kilometers from top to bottom. From the top of the Alpine T-Bar at an altitude of 7,600 feet to the base of the Gem Lake Chair at 4,950 feet is the Around the World Route, Big White's longest run. On the Gem Lake side of the mountain, you'll find a mix of winding cruisers, steep bumps and challenging glades. Man, this looks awesome up here. Yeah, I, I love skiing over at Gem Lake here. The, the best thing about this place is like it's the terrain is so rolling and you, you never know what you're going to find on the other side of the roll. And the other really cool thing, most people don't know this, but like if it's kind of cloudy in the village, I come here and nine times out of ten it's like sunny and blue like this. So I skied um, for Australia in uh, 88 Calgary Winter Olympics and um, discovered uh, Big White uh, about 20 years ago now and just fell in love with the place just because of the variety of uh, terrain that's here and the sensational um, champagne powder snow that they get here. I think we're going to be here for another 20 years and um, yeah, the kids love it, my wife loves it. Uh, we've got lots of friends who we bring out from Australia and they come here as well and, and I think uh, it just really, the mountain really speaks for itself. Look, the quality of the snow that you get every day is the really thing that I think for us coming some, from so far away um, is the thing we're always guaranteed here. Great snow, great friends um, and, and just perfect snow conditions here at Big One. There's a green run from every chair but those looking for the challenge of the steep and rugged terrain will find it off the top of the mountain and into the cliff. Choose your entry through one of the many narrow chutes and cool wires at the top of the ridge, then spill out into a wide open basin called Parachute Bowl. The cliff is serviced with its own double chair, so getting in a few laps isn't a problem.
You know, after a full day of skiing with Richie and Christian, I've really worked up an appetite. And here at Big White, there is everything in terms of food and beverage options. You know, you can order a pizza to your room. There's some casual dining, some light wine and tapas fare. You name it, a little bit of everything. And it's all within walking distance. You know, Nikki and I, were headed down to my favorite place tonight. We're headed to the steakhouse to meet a few friends. The Kettle Valley Steakhouse is well known for its fine Okanagan cuisine, featuring perfectly aged, hand-cut Canadian beef, fresh seafood, local game, and locally sourced specialties. Try a glass of wine from the extensive Okanagan selection, and new this year is family-style dining at the Harvest Table. You know, in its 50 year history, Big White has always been family owned and operated. And we're pretty fortunate uh, here now at Big White to have our third generation of the Schumann and Plimmer families here running the resort since 1985. You might recognize a few Aussie accents around if you happen to visit us, and that's because they are from Australia. Used to own Mount Hotham, now they own Big White Ski Resort here in the Okanagan. We're lucky enough today to spend a few minutes with Peter Plimmer, the third generation of the Plimmer and Schumann families, and the youngest president of a ski resort in Canada. So have you got in a few days this year? Yeah, I've got in about, uh, I think it's six or seven this year, so I'm about uh, double what I normally am for a season. Nice. This time of year. Now oh, it's good to get out, hey? Okay? I'll move to Canada to be a ski bum. Almost. <laughs> The Schumann and Plymouth family history at this resort started back in 1985 and uh, my grandfather arrived up here with uh, you know, uh, a resort that was in a little bit of rough shape and he had a vision to turn this into something that you could ski in and ski out from. Um, my, my uncle took over the presidency in the 90s and he led that, uh, that vision through the kind of the real estate boom and, and through that time and uh, now he's uh, got things that he wants to do with his life, so um, I've taken over. Uh, we are a lot more than just a, a family resort. You know, there is a huge focus o on family um, because it's, it's something we've, we've always done, right from the, the, the founding days of the, the Serwas and the Mervins, right until uh, my, my generation. Things that make us so much more than just a family ski resort areas of access, and not just out of the International Airport in Kelowna, which is about an hour's drive away, but also in ease of access from our ski in and ski out accommodation. We've just some beautiful luxury accommodation up here. Uh, we've also got fantastic restaurants for the foodies that are only getting better and better, and we've got a, a, a really thumping nightlife. What would I like my legacy to be here? I guess I'd like it to be the same as what my grandfather's legacy is. It, it, you know, it, it's something that, that he's built, that people come to and that people enjoy, and something that I want my kids to bring their kids to and their kids to, you know, and that, that's, that, that, that family atmosphere and that family environment mixed with such amazing terrain, I, I want to expand on that. Well, we're just down here at the base of Lara's Gondola here in Happy Valley, Canada's highest outdoor skating rink, getting the ice ready for tonight. Hey, but you know what goes on down here at Happy Valley? This is where all of the activities are at Big White Ski Resort. This is where the Nordic trails start. There's a ton of cross-country skiing here, dog sledding, horse and sleigh ride, the mega coaster snow park, as well as adult snowmobiles and the mini Z's for kids. It's all happening down here every night of the week. You know what's also down here? A one of a kind, a 60 foot tower of ice. All right, mate, get that uh, right boot up. It's about knee height. Good. The only one of its kind at a ski resort in North America, and as far as we know the world, is Big White's 60 foot ice climbing tower. The youngest to ring the bell at the top was four, and the oldest was in their 80s, so it's definitely something just about anyone can try. 
fastest time to the top is Canadian Olympic ice climber Will Gadd in a time of 13.8 seconds. How was that, you guys? It was that was awesome. awesome. You know, here on the mountain at Big White, we've got a great sense of community. Lots of year-round residents, lots of locals, and you know, every week we like to get together for a little bit of practice. Oh, nice play. Well, here's where you find me and the boys at least once a week. A little bit of a pickup hockey game here at Canada's highest skating rink at Happy Valley. Hey, you want to stick around? We got our ski tip coming up. Wow, well, that is some really, really nice sunshine, a little bit of nice snow here today. You know, one of the things that I often get asked, well, you know, when I'm skiing around here at Big White or at other ski resorts or even at ski shows and things like that, is they always ask, Josh, what goes into making a ski tip? And I say, funny you should ask, because we're going to do a show here at Big White. We're going to give you a bit of a behind the scenes look at making of a ski tip. It starts with countless hours of research and development. Then, you want to make sure that you're feeling your best. And of course, looking your best is critical as well. Oh, thanks, Corey. That's perfect. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye, Josh. See ya. You need to make sure that your equipment is in top shape. Not only do you have to make sure that your equipment's prepared, you have to make sure that the slope is perfectly prepared too. Okay, they're ready for you now, Mr. Cuesta. Oh, thank you, Pete. So as you can see, there's a lot of work that goes into putting these ski tips together. All of the pre-planning that happens with it, preparation, organizing, you name it. Not to mention all of the post-production that LG and Steve put in in the office in Toronto, CGI, all of the graphic stuff, you name it, we pull out all the stops for the ski tips. Hey, you know what, this hosting and shooting ski tips all day is thirsty work. Good thing there's a lot of choices here. Afternoon, everybody. Hey, you know what? We're down here at the Moose Lounge, which is at the Happy Valley Day Lodge, and this is where all of the activities happen. Ice skating, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, you name it. It all goes out of here, so it's a great place for Apray, great place for a drink after skiing. Yeah! Afternoon, everybody. This is Sante, located right in the heart of the village, right at the base of the ski runs. And you know, this place is famous for seven different kinds of poutines and best chicken wings on the mountain. If that wasn't enough, there's a drink special every night of the week. Hello, everybody. Hey, this is the Bellarney Stone. It's brand new this year, and it's located in the Inn at Big White, just across from the village. Excellent Irish pub grub, so you want to get over here and enjoy some of that. And it's the best place to get a pint of Guinness on the mountain. Afternoon, everybody. This is the Black Diamond. It doesn't get any more ski and ski out than this for an Apres ski bar. You know, their specialty here is everything is homemade to this mulled wine, apple cider, you name it, it's happening here. Hey everybody! 
This is the Bow Wheel, the only place where you can get the Bow Wheel Burger with bacon jam. It's totally unbelievable. Their motto here is good fun, good food, good people, and home to this guy, Alfonso Reed, the owner. I like turtles. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Snowshoe Sam's, voted number one Afre Ski Bar in North America. This is the place to be for Afre Ski that rolls into the nightlife. Well, that's about all the time we have for this week, a little bit of a behind the scenes view of why I live and work here at beautiful Big White Ski Resort. Ease of access from every major city in the country, fantastic ski and ski out accommodation, and of course, world famous Okanagan champagne powder. That hosting stuff is really hard work. Good thing for the spas here, too. <laughs>